Okay. Well, friends, we're out in the bush at Brian's place again. No, my old pickup there, he <laughs> seems to be a, you know, just seems to be, it sits there a lot. <laughs> anyway, we, we've got, uh, Brian needs a couple of chopping blocks, so we don't have much left to split here. There's literally uh, one over there we'll use. Um, there's two or three here we can split up there. And we're done here. This is all. And then when he gets his machine fired up, I'll get, we'll get it over to the shed for him. But friends, I've brought over the ax that Cletus made, as a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> I want to give it a go. I, wa I want to give this little 28 skinny little handle a go. Um, I mean, I, I know what it's going to be like, but let's see if we can break it. Hey, shall we? Let's see if we can break it. I've got another really nice ax I want to try here too. So here we are. And this is that one I just built the beautiful protector for with the little, oh man, I'm so happy with this. So happy with this, friends. This thing is skinny. I mean skinny. Remember, friends, bust your handles loose in the middle of the handle on these skinny handles. It, it's funny, there was somebody saying just use it like a normal handle. Well, I, I, I don't, don't use it like a normal handle. Swing it like a normal handle, but, but do your other, like break it free. You know, big skookum handles, you can, you can crack them loose out here. They're so strong, but, but, uh, don't, don't be, uh, don't be breaking your skinny little handles loose out here. You can bust them. You will bust them. This is, this is actually quite a nice ax. Yeah, see that? No sticky any. See that? Very interesting. Oh, this is lovely. Oh yeah. See, I, I knew this profile would be nice. Oh, this is lovely. Oh. Man. We're getting into some bigger stuff here now. This is what I like about a 28 inch handle is you can, you can handle it. You know what I mean? These are big now, these ones, these are big. So I've been using chopping block a little bit more lately because of my axes have been kind of I've been putting uh putting shines on my axes a bit
What a glorious little tool. Oh, wow. So, Holy cow. Wow. I uh, I don't know what to say here about this. Can you guys see what's going on down in there or what? Oh yeah, yeah you can. Good, excellent. Friends, I'm here to tell you something. Uh, Wow. This is, <laughs> this is, it's beautiful. <laughs> See, I, I knew it would be like this, friends. I've made enough to know that the 28 inch rock and a sock is where it's at for a lot of wood. This is a skinny, skinny little handle. But r one wrong move and you will bust it and you'll be sad. Remember that one I broke out here? I, I hit the wood strangely. I hit the wood not straight on like like this, friends. I hit the wood kind of like this. And it, all the inertia came right in here somewhere instead of like, if it's on the channel. We, we'll search it out if need be. But I'm telling you, um, we got to save Brian a couple of these, which is a shame because I'd rather split the suckers. These are big. Okay, friends, the, these are kind of the bigger ones. I got to pull two aside for Brian's uh, wood, wood uh, chopping block. Okay. Um, but I can't not, I can't not drive these couple axes. I have to. Oh, I don't have to do nothing, but I want to. Because they're, they're, they're Robert and Robert. Okay. And one of my newest axe, which I can feel already in the handle. It is going to be bonkers. Right? Freaking bonkers. Now these are tough. I know they're tough. So... We gotta get Brian a couple chopping blocks. I'm gonna send them right out that way. Now, I wonder if... Brian's out, Brian's not, he's not getting around that well, friends. I mean, he's getting around okay, but he gets tired. Okay, friends, real quick on Caleb here, okay? This fella, he, you can catch him on a video of mine from that job we did for Billy LeCount and his family in Washington. It's a while back. But listen, I'm not a Facebook dude, but Caleb, he was part of a, a big axe a group and he, he just, just just wasn't in his heart and he, and he developed his own uh, uh, on Facebook. And uh, it's called Axe Addicts. And I'll tell you something. I, 
I don't know a better fellow that could run one of these things. The guy has got an axe collection from heaven that I haven't seen yet, and I will be going to and bringing you along. He's just a big galoot of a man with a humongous heart and just a, a family man, hardworking son of a gun. And I just got a real good vibe off when I met him. So friends, listen, if you're into axes and everything axe, uh, I'm not part of any groups. I'm just, I just love axes. So, but, but check out Caleb the Axe Addict. And his group on Facebook is called Axe Addicts. Great group of people uh, run by that band right there, which you can't go wrong. Caleb, I love you, brother. See, uh, when, I, when I get to the right blacksmith who finds me on YouTube pleading for a for a quality Blackman Smith to get together with me to build a buck and special. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have some fun and people are gonna get a good axe. And it ain't gonna be a bushcraft axe. It's gonna be a wood splitting axe. An all around Wood split Nax. Look at this. Holy cow. Afternoon, ladies. How are we doing? Good. How are you doing? Well, I'm happy because things are greener and lusher than normal. <laughs> Industry has slowed down. Greenery can breathe. Yes. You don't notice it? Oh, the, the, the trees, yellow point is, is notorious, kind of dry. And it's very rocky, so the, the timber, it's for a country, but it, it's sometimes dry. And it's, it's very lush right now. It's wonderful to see. I don't want to split this where it's at because then the next piece I'll be kind of put myself in a bad spot. So I, friends, I already know this is going to be killer. This ax is dynamite. It's dynamite. It, it, it's, it's right on the money. Look at, can you see from that distance? It's about an inch and a half back from the handle on a 32 inch handle, remember. So that is a good solid head. Johnny, this is one of the best things you sent me. And that's, that's the straight goods. See that? It's, it is, it's lovely.
you'll notice when I hit stuff, friends, I hit it so that the ax is not going to be back there, you see, on the farthest part of the wood, and then my ax goes through and cracks up the, the handle. I hit stuff. That's why I should probably, I should probably start using a chopping block, to be very honest with you, because I'm enjoying a sharp ax these days more than I ever have. Uh, we grew up on malls and and uh, sledgehammers and wedges. That's what we used. Because when you're a little kid and you got no weight behind you, that, that's what you do. Now, I want to try Johnny and Johnny's axes. I already know what this axe is going to be like. I already, I already know that. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> Johnny, you got lots of protection on this little, I believe this is hickory. Yeah, it is, it's hickory. But it is a, 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 a wonderful axe, but it is not, it's not a big, huge clobber. It's a finesseful axe, friends. This one, it is, it's finesseful. It, it is a beauty. It is a very, very nice swinging axe. Yeah, see that? Gosh, that's lovely. Good sized piece of wood. Oh my. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. You can choke up on these suckers. You know what I mean, friends? Like, this is what I like, John. Did you see that? I was able to poke into the wood, right? It's, it is lovely, buddy. Believe me, it's a beauty. This is a very nice ax. I've had this thing forever. I've, I've used this like crazy. This might even be white oak. No, it's hickory. It's hickory, I can see it. Now, see that? Now here's our finale ax, friends, right here, okay? This is our finale ax. And it's another man named John. We got Rock and Ron, Rock and, pardon me, Robert, Rock and Robert. And then another man, Robert, okay? Robert's dad was a Frenchman from Montreal, Quebec. Looks like we got a couple here. Oh, this one's a splitter, boy. Oh, look at that. Whoa, <laughs> that's good. It's a different ax than that last one we just played around with. See that? You wanna be able to stab the wood, friends. You, you just, you do. You wanna be able to stab the wood. You, you don't wanna be all trying to, especially if you're using a chopping block, friends. This thing's wicked, Johnny, straight up wicked. It's, it's got, it's got nice feel. This thing's riddled in knots, but it's not going to be a problem at all, actually. At all. Look at this. It's lovely. Now, what have we got here, friends? 
What have we got here? Oh, I see. See, you, listen friends. You start going like that with a thin handle, you're gonna bust it side to side. You use your big ones to do that. Look at this. Look at freaking this, Johnny. Are you with me, brother? <laughs> huh? Gosh, these axes are nice, friends. Oh, oh yeah, see? It, it's, it's a Kelly Works is what it is. Beauty. So this is what I mean about cross gain. You guys will hear me talk about it like that. See that? that? That's not the way you want to go at this right here. You want to get a cross grain. You want to get like a piece of pie. So you want to step over and you want to grab right here. Then it'll pop apart. You try and start doing this cross stuff. It's going to bother you. Playing around here. Yeah, she's stringy too. We got to cut through this stuff. There we go. Now. Let's chip the corner off. Let's do that. Oh. Well, a major, major success, friends, on everything. Like complete major success. We got one ax left up here, or one piece of wood right there. One left. Listen. You may think to yourself, oh, oh, here's another splitting video. You're darn tootin' there is. You're darn tootin' there is. And there'll be others. Friends, this is how I stay alive and stay fit spiritually, mentally, and physically. Straight goods. Being out here, throwing wood around, throwing these bladed wooded things around. It, it, it's how I do it, friends. Um... I think I've said it probably a thousand times before. Men, we we were made, we were created to to hunt, to 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 expel physical energy, friends. We can't sit around, friends, brothers, sisters. We can't do it. You you won't feel correct. You won't feel balanced. Trust me. I've done a little research in the area, <laughs> friends. It, be your highest self. Be your best self. And that includes three pieces. Body, mind, and spirit. The body's got to move, friends. We don't got to do nothing, remember, but you will reap the benefits of your choices and your actions. And I, I must do this. I, I, I feel at my best when I'm out here. I don't care who I'm with. Me and the big fella. That's all I need. That's it. And my axes. This is a half an hour video. Guy doesn't even need to edit, really, does he? But he's going to. Let's use, let's use Cletus's axe to finish up our last split here on this little peak of wood, on this naughty little piece of fur, short handled, uh, glorious little tool on a dungeon. <laughs> oh, what a fun, fun time. What a fun, fun time. How can you not be in a good mood, friends, after doing this? How? Explain it to me. I don't know. This axe puts a guy in a good mood right here. That, that I will tell you. Done. One more split right here.
Oh, I see what it is. I see what's going on. That one. And that one. That's it. Great big freaking knot right in the center of the piece of wood right there. Chick clank. Done. What a great video. Let's pack up our axes. Hey, okay? let's do it. What an amazing, an amazing day, friends. I say amazing and deadly and wicked lots, don't I, friends? Huh? I do, I know, I do. Whoa, tree frog, shoot. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. We're done. There's Brian's chopping blocks right there. I saved them too. I'll roll them in the truck and we'll get out of here. Over and out.